Hello, okay, so we're here about to start the refurbishment of the tall boy bomb. Uh, the first job that we've got to do is to take the tail fin off. Uh, that will then be paint stripped, repaired and repainted. So uh, just follow me around and we'll show you what we're going to do. So the bomb itself is made up, obviously the bomb unit at the front. Uh, this is a closing fairing just to make it streamlined and then the tail cone starts from here backwards. The tail cone is attached, as you'll see later on, by a ring with studs and nuts on. Uh, fairly light, should be quite easy to lift it. The manual shows four blokes one-handedly lifting it on and off uh, the bomb unit. Uh, so the first thing that we need to do is we remove these access panels uh, and then these fairings here, I don't know if you've seen, but there's a small closing panel here. The one on the other side will de-rivet, there's two pop rivets in it, and underneath there is a turnbuckle. So let's get started. Okay, so we've now uh, taken off the uh, maintenance panels. So you can see just, how, just held on by uh, screws. And here the closing panel, which the turnbuckle is behind, we've removed the rivets. So if I pull this off now, you can see the turnbuckle here. Okay, and that rotates. Left, left hand thread on one side, right hand thread on the other. Expand it. That will release this fairing and we'll move it back. So if you want to look inside, you can see the state of it. So the tail cone itself should be retained by a ring that goes onto the closing panel of the bomb. On R1, half of that ring has rotted away. And you'll see it better once we've got the tail cone off. So, we'll remove this panel now for the next stage. So here we are releasing the turnbuckle. This is brass, so fortunately not corroded. Do it with my finger now. I'll take it all the way. That's right. Stripping it. So the turnbuckle's now released, so the fairing can come off. Just let that gently slide down there. Andy, could you just go and get the other side yep. of it for me, please? Squeeze it through. I've got it, Bill. Can you pull it through your yep. side? Yeah, feed it through. Okay, you now you can start to see the back of the bomb. So here you can see the attachment ring. This should go all the way round. Unfortunately, it's corroded and broken off at some time. In fact, it feels like somebody's cut it, uh, probably because it rotted away. Uh, we've got all the nuts off now, and so we're ready to move the tail cone off of the bomb unit. Clean, is it? Clean straight down the middle, is it? It's easier to hold this bit, one leg either side of here, okay. and then you're not balancing Well, I did ask about holding yeah. the thing. So we're now going to remove the tail cap. You're right. This progress is being hindered by the usual wasp nest. It's going to try and go that way, isn't it? Well, it's narrow. Okay, we're now lifting off the tail cone. There she goes. Carefully. We're doing nothing, Jim. The weight's on the back. Oh, no. I know. 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 I
So here's the attachment ring. You can see, corroded away. Nearly half of it is missing. It's been cut off here and corroded off here. At some time, somebody's taken it away. So this bracket was fitted to support the bottom. So we're just about to pressure wash it now. It's off. As you can see, I've got Jim's broom here to utilise. And Jim's on the on the pressure washer. Oh no. Right, here we go. Have you checked you've got water? <laughs> Take number two. Take <laughs> number two. <laughs> Yeah, welcome everybody. This is uh, day two of the restoration of uh, the Tall Boy here at Brooklyn's Museum. And uh, as you can see, what we've done so far is we've managed to put the tail section on top of two uh, stressels. Um, we've taken the paint off as far as we can at the moment. We've got the underside to do. And we're slowly working our way back to the, when we get to the fins. When we get to the fins, we'll obviously take the paint off here as well. There are some damage to the fins. Uh, and we'll be looking to either fill or plate depending on what we need to actually do. And we'll get a better view once we've actually managed to take off all the paint and examine them properly. And following that, we'll give you a further update in just a little while. Hello again, we're still working on the uh, Tallboy tank telco. As you can see, it's now primed. Uh, after we paint stripped it, there were a number of repairs that had to be done uh, and some major dinks that uh, we've filled. Uh, the rib, there's some re-riveting that had to be done as well. Uh, but now at the stage that really it's ready for a top coat. Welcome back. So we've now uh, primed it, so two coats of primer on it, and we've also gone around every single rivet hole and uh, put some silicon sealant into the rivet holes to stop the ingress of water. Uh, and now it's just had two coats or uh, top coat of uh, whitish paint. Okay, we're now removing the detonator pockets on the tall boy. So in Blue Peter style, here's one that we've done earlier. Jim's just taking it out. Right. There we go. There goes one of them. And... Thank you. Let me try it. <laughs> 